Hi. Can you guys hear me? <laughs> Hi, yeah, yeah. Hi, yeah, yeah. It's been. It's been a minute. It's been what? Almost three months since I last streamed. Yeah, yeah. It was. Uh, it was at the end of. At the end of June, I last streamed. The summer came. The summer went. I had a great time, honestly. Sorry if my voice sounds a little rough. I've been coughing a lot. I had a little bit like semi cold this weekend, so so that's fun. But I I'm feeling fine. I feel okay to do a stream. So here we are. So. I'll be honest, honest. Aside from the obvious thing, I announced when I told you guys about this stream was happening. Uh, aside from that, I don't really have a plan for this stream. I'll be honest. <laughs> I'm like, I just wanted to stream and do some stuff, like a little bit chill. And this is going to be very low energy stream because. Because, because uh, my my brain is malfunctioning. I'm trying to think like five things at the same time, and and I don't have the brain capacity for that. But uh, I'm I'm very low in energy today because I might have slept a little too little last night. But it's fine. I I feel okay. Okay to do a stream. So yeah. So yeah. I don't know even know where to start, honestly. This stream might be a little bit shorter because I don't I really can't go too late also because I have work in the morning. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's kind of a deal. Can't like go too, too late and also I'm tired and I don't wanna go too late because I actually want to sleep tonight so gonna be just chilling a bit and I was thinking about maybe like also my hand is still wet I was just in the bathroom I went past my hand there was some water droplets on my hand because of that um, I was thinking about maybe like talk about maybe some technical stuff related to art if people would be interested in that. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm just thinking here. I'm just thinking here. I'm trying to think here. I'm trying to collect my thoughts. Because I am the most collected person in the world. If you haven't noticed by now. Like, I... I get distracted so easily. And this still music is not helping, really. Is that noise part of the music? It... Okay, it is part of the music. I think this is one of the tracks I added to the playlist today. Because I have a habit of, kind of a habit of, um, at the beginning, or every time I stream, I add some music on my playlist. I have a Royal Degree music playlist that is safe for stream, and I always I keep adding music on it. And this time, currently, it's like three and a half hours long. I know this. Uh, I know this is not one of the new tracks I added today. Okay, okay, whatever, whatever. Uh, back on the track, back on the track. <laughs> um, I was thinking about maybe talking about some technical stuff today because I kind of. I don't know. Maybe draw a little. 
Maybe I should have waited a little bit longer until some people came in. But uh, I I said that I was going to start at 8 and I started the stream at 8 and here I am. And I gave you people a week ahead time to prepare for this. And here we are. I was I wanted to try more once like giving you guys uh, like a bigger time to prepare for my streams because usually I give like people like two three days maybe prepare and this time I was like heck I'm I really want to do stream on the 9th of September because that was like a day that really like fit in my schedule so I was like okay I I'm pretty set in that I'm going to do stream on this date so I'm going to do do stream on this date and yeah I am doing stream on 9th September 8 p.m. in Finnish time as I said I am here and if people are not here it's not my fault because I told everyone when I was going to do the stream the time the place everything Oh, hi. Great to see you back here. Hi. Uh, I don't recognize your name, but... Welcome, welcome. I am... Uh, I'm trying to just collect my thoughts here. And thinking about where I... What should I begin to do, honestly, because... I, I was so prepared for this stream. <laughs> I've been just rambling here for like how how many minutes I've been rambling. The beginning song was like I've been like rambling maybe seven minutes here, but just random nonsense. Uh, but yeah, the stream plan is gonna just chill. Maybe talk about some technical art stuff. Maybe draw a little. I have some paper. I have some stuff, art stuff right over here. And I have this pencil in my hands, as you can see. And yeah, probably could draw something. Maybe talk about technical stuff. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, hopefully, hopefully all the tech stuff is working fine. Because last stream was plagued by so much internet connection issues. I don't know what was about last stream, but there was so much rain rate drop it was like so terrible the whole stream like if you watch the stream what which i also uploaded on my youtube channel it just sucks the rain rate sucks so bad it's so painful to watch hopefully it doesn't suck that bad i am currently at actually watching the stream feed on my phone and it looks fine so i'm hoping it's fine also, my internet connection, I'm looking at the OBS studio and it looks like it's at green, so it should be fine. And I'm hoping it's fine this time. Because that last time, it really scared me. That, oh no, the internet here is so bad. The internet connection here is so bad that I cannot stream. But also, my internet provider actually, after that stream, told me that they were raising the internet speeds for me. Because there were some changes in the local area, in the internet in the local area, so... So I actually have faster internet now, so that might also contribute to things a little bit. So that should be... Pretty good. And so far it seems to be working just fine. Uh... What kind of data rates can you get? Uh, I'm actually, I'm not like super tech guy, so I really can't answer your question. Also, oh no. Lugo, hi. Hi. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't, I'm not really super tech guy, so I really cannot like answer the question, but... But I'm looking at OBS and it's currently in green, so it's good. High is good enough. Well, it's high enough. Oh no, everyone is in now. What? Why is everyone coming in now? I've been here like talking maybe 10 minutes on my own and suddenly everyone is here. <laughs> hey, don't oh no me. Yes, I oh no you. Mister, shut up. 
I just woke up a bit skitty. Yeah, that's fair enough. Feed you, feed you daughter. Feed you daughter. Don't leave her starving. Poor animal. <sighs> God, I screamed at Lugo so hard that I spat everywhere. Like, oh my God. There's speed on my desk now. Thanks. Thanks, dude. <laughs> Okay, do I have to explain my stream plan again? Because everyone is suddenly now here. Okay, we haven't even started because I've been just rambling. Because I don't really have any plan for this stream aside from the unknown cement I have to end. Which will like blow your sock off or something, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't do anything! Shut up, you, <laughs> you ass! You, you know I'll do well what you did! I could remind her to clean your desk. What do you mean by that, Morgan? Oh, I wrote that I spat on it. Well, it's fine. It's fine. It's clean enough. It's clean enough. <sighs> Collect my thoughts. I slept less than five hours last night. I am a little bit like scatterbrained and <laughs> get distra distracted easily. <laughs> and I'm coughing now. Thanks, thanks, guys. Uh, like, like, I've been like off the beginnings around the starting screen for like 10 minutes, and I'm already screaming. This is a good sign of things to come. Okay, so I was thinking about maybe talk a little bit about like some technical stuff. If that's okay with you guys, and maybe draw a little, maybe like show you guys some little art tricks and stuff like that. If you would be okay with that, how do you feel? And I swear to God, this track that is right now playing comes every time I'm streaming. This is I this this music has been it's on on my brain. It's terrible. It's terrible. It's a nice track. Well, I'm not saying it's a bad track. I put it, I, I put it on this playlist because I was like, this seems like a nice streaming music. But okay, okay, okay. Focus, Yama, focus. <sighs> so, a uh, little bit tired. Might might not do like a super long stream because. Didn't sleep that much last night, and I have work tomorrow, and I might not have the energy to go too long on the stream, but do a little bit like something, and then show you the thing at the end of the stream, the thing I've been teasing you guys about, my new comic. Oh, okay, I'm I'm not going to show the comic itself. I'm just going to tell you guys the name of the comic. And so, uh, new key art for it, and explain a little bit what is it about. Is that fine? Is that okay with you? Did the music die? No, this track just stopped silent, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay, 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 good. Uh, I'm gonna just yeet this paper here. Yeet this. Uh, get a new paper because I ruined that paper with my little smiley face. It's not good. I have to throw that away. Okay, so uh, what would you guys be interested to learn about? Is there any art thing you would like to hear me explain, or would you just rather me go rambling again about whatever? Or should I just try something? Which option sounds the best for you? Also, does the mix sound good? I checked it just before the stream, but I want to make sure that it sounds good. Shh, 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 shh. I am. This is not a good sign. I'm starting to lose my steam again. 
this is this one of the music tracks I added today? Because I added a bunch of new tracks today. No, this is not one of them, okay? Uh Uh yeah, I explained the thing with them. Um, also please tell me if the rain rate drops because that is something I'm very scared of after what happened last stream. The whole stream I look at the whole stream what through and the rain rate was chucking so hard through the whole stream last time. I don't really know what went wrong back then. But it should be good right now. I'm like looking at the connection speed. And it's like very green. And I'm looking at the stream width on my phone. Which doesn't seem to be chucking at all. Which is great. And also my internet provider actually raised my internet speed. After, pretty soon after that last stream. So... Yeah. Uh, I am... <laughs> I am just losing it again. Let's just let's just start, start dropping it something. Let's just start. Don't don't die. It. I can't speak. Okay. Let's just start dropping something. Something nice and simple. Can you even see me what I'm dropping? I hope the white balance is okay because it sometimes it changes on the fly a little bit how much there is like stuff on the screen so hey 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 but I would like I honestly would love to do streaming more but it's not really like feasible with how things are with me and how I prioritize some things. But I really enjoy enjoy doing streams with you guys. And it's a like nice way to like connect with people, you know? Because I don't really get to connect with you guys, some of you guys so much. And I wish that wasn't the case. Because at the current day and age, the internet is kind of like this place where we are the more, most connected than we've been ever before. And it feels like we are like most like isolated than ever. It feels like it's so difficult to connect with people, even with all these tools to help us connect with people. And it's like... <laughs> Twitch isn't letting me talk about how cute the doggo is, how dare it. Oh Twitch, you functional website. We love you. Speaking of Twitch, like the current mobile app for Twitch is like... Let's just say it, it's awful, we hate it. We hate it here. No one wants to use it, no one wanted it. But here you here we go, a little simple dog. <laughs> God yeah, what did they do to it? Like I ask that to myself every day when I boot up Twitch and I look at it and like how is this is this a functional website? Because I don't see how it functions honestly. That dog is a precious chunky fluff. Thank you. Just wanted to draw a little chunky doggo. Simple. Because ch chunky little dogs are easy to draw. Is it deserves a job star. <laughs> Which deserves a dog? Or Twitch? Twitch. Okay. <laughs> well, hold on. Hold on. I can give it to you. You did it. <laughs> Not the dog, I just realized those messages were meant to get. <laughs> it's 
fine, Morgan. It's fine. Um, but here's the your did it star. Uh, what should I doodle next and talk about next, maybe? Um, uh, now I'm now I'm just blanking again. God, it's been a it's been a weekend, guys. Okay, it's been a whole weekend. Like I cannot even start to explain the whole thing. It's been a lot. And today's been a lot. I like I woke up so early because I had work and then I had to do thing after the work and I, then I had to set up the stream and it's been a whole day, guys. But I'm here now. It's fine. We are all good. Hey, yeah, yeah. But I wanted to talk a little bit about like technical stuff. And I probably could like start explaining my dropping process a little bit, and maybe show it a little bit by step by step. How does that? How does that sound to you guys? Like when I start to drawing, I have the idea in my head first what I want to draw, and I have the general shape, the angle, and the like all that stuff in my mind first. When I start drawing something. Okay. Let's just say that I want to draw a sitting dog. Let's start simple. I start with shape. Everything is shapes. Everything is just shapes. I usually also start with like drawing circles to like keep the general position of things to help me like kind of like visualize it better and like put the place put put things in the place better can you guys see what I'm doing by the way so start adding a little bit like lines there's also a lot of other things when you do art, like you need to have the technical understanding of so many things, like you need to understand anatomy and stuff like that. Like it's not so simple. I'm trying to do this as simple and ex as simple as I can and explain it as, as much in detail as I can because I know there are some people here who are not that far in uh, art stuff yet <laughs> that they need to have this ex this thing explained to them <laughs> simple is better speaking of <laughs> yeah but everything is like shapes you think everything is shapes who are you talking about <laughs> no one no one in particular it's not like I know someone here who is like wants to do art but is not like that far in yet and wants to learn better. <laughs> it's not like I know anyone here like that. <laughs> and that's why I've been like drawing these simple dogs to kind of show you, Lugo, how I do this. You can try try draw along if you want, guy dude. Honestly, you can try draw along. If you are in a spot, you baby, you can do that, of course. Is this one of the? No, this is not one of the tracks I added today. No, 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 it's not. <laughs> anyway, here's a little simple dog. It's all about shapes. Was this too complex for you, or should I simplify it even more, so you can follow along? <laughs> Making me laugh is dangerous, because it will make me cough. 
It's good, it's good. Okay. I'm just checking. Just checking. Because you... Remember when you saw, saw me that little mouse throbbing that took you like, what, 15 minutes? <laughs> that I could like, draw in like, one minute myself. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But everything is like, you need to think about everything you like shapes. Circle shapes, tri triangles, whatever. Everything is kind of like, you stop forming things with shapes. You add more shapes. And look at that. Look at that. Now it's a dog. Sorcery, is it? it? <laughs> <coughs> I really shouldn't laugh. I'm starting to cough again. But you can do so much with basic say witchcraft. <laughs> I knew you would say that. But here is a doggo. It's just they are just all shapes. You can do different things with different kind of shapes. Everything starts with shapes. And like good character design is usually based on like simple, easily recognizable shapes. Like good character design is like you can break it down that you can show the silhouette of the character and you can tell instantly what who the character is just based on their shape. Shape is important in character design. Like, let's give an example. Oh no, 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 no! I am saying no to you. Be gone, bot! <sighs> You are not welcome here, thank you. Thank you, Morgan. Bots are not welcome here. Smite! Be smitey! That bot is gone, okay. Uh, back, to, back to what I was talking about. Shapes! Can you tell what this character is I'm going to do here? Just the silhouette of the character. <laughs> oh no, I just don't know about terrible joke you could make about this. Can you tell what character this is just based on the shape alone? <laughs> it's Pikachu! Who's that Pokemon? It's Pikachu! I'm spitting again. Hi Arctic Night Moon, welcome. We are just We are just kinda chilling here and I'm kinda explaining some art stuff. We've been talking about shapes and kinda like how it is important to like have a character design based on shapes. Because when you have very character design that is based on shapes, you can like recognize the character easily when it's like silhouette. Like Pikachu. Pikachu is easy to recognize. Even when it's like silhouette like this. Because of the shapes. Like 
not only the long ears, but the tail is very iconic. Everyone knows that. It's Pikachu tail. Everyone knows that. Like, that is like good character design. Ah, that is quite, help quite helpful. You didn't know that? Like, I feel like that is pretty simple art stuff everyone should know. But I guess not. But no. Shapes are very important. All the... Uh, like... When you start drawing, you should like break things down in shapes. This is going to be a very shapeless stream, apparently. Like... I knew it, but it's a good to get a reminder. Okay, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Reminders are always good because there's so many rules in art that when you do art long enough, it's easy to forget some rules. So having reminders like is really good. So there's no shame in that, honestly. Uh, but what was like shapes? <laughs> Ignore the your digit star. That's what they also I'm just rotating this stupid paper to Okay, I'm uh, I'm not even stri sitting straight. Ha straight jokes as I as if I'm I'm straight at all myself. But uh But uh, uh what should I like talk about next? Uh Shapes. Like... Yeah, everything just breaks down in shapes. Like, when I start building... Character. Drawing something. I break it down... In shapes. Can you guys see what I'm doing at all? This is the Yama Talks about technical stuff stream. If you guys have any like other things you want to know about, I could like explain the best of my ability. And we've been driving like lots of dogs because I don't know. Dogs are easy to draw. Like, okay, so let's be honest. Like, I st when I started making art, it kind of started from dogs because uh, my main inspiration for art was this manga artist who makes manga about dogs. So, yeah, that's kind of where I started as an artist myself. And I was a lot of around dog, animal artists, and furry artists. So, that kind of affected my early years of art too. It's kinda interesting how how differently some people like approach art and the things they draw based on like things they were affected by when they were younger and when they were starting art. I started with silly cats with giant eyes. Well to be fair I also drew cats fair amount. Like, my first fifth comic was about cats, actually. Uh, the main character... Do I even remember still how to draw him? Uh, the main character... I just... Oh no. Oh no. I just ages like million years. Like, I just realized that the comic is turning like... 17 years this month. Oh no. I just age myself. So much. I was 14 when I started that, and I I just turned 31 yesterday. <laughs> You're old. You are one to dog, mister. You are as old as I am. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, man. yesterday my mom showed me some doulas of mine from when I was 15 and they were so cute. I, uh, you should have taken some pictures and sold them to me. I would have loved to, I would have loved to see them. But no, you show me just cats and dogs. 
I don't I need <laughs> No, you only saw you only saw Bruno Mochi and the uh, naked chicken catch. So yeah. <laughs> they were naked chickens, Morgan. I'm not wrong with this. <laughs> we'll send what he sent me after st stream then. Okay, thanks. I would love to see those. <laughs> they were and they felt so funny. You st you told me that they had funny texture. Like I I don't think I've ever touched on like a hairless cat. But they look really weird. And warm. I guess cats are generally very warm, so I don't know. It's been a while since I have touched a cat. It's been eight months. They all looked furious and it it was great. I mean, yeah, they they kind of have this, this kind of grumpy, grumpy look on, on them. Actually, no, I should actually put the real color on this to show the color of this character. Oh! <laughs> oh, this track! I used this in a video! <laughs> Once! If you guys remember that video I did. If you have seen that video. Uh, this track was called... Uh, Icelandic Arkbegios But yeah, this is the main character of my first webcomic Was this the run cycle one? It was for the... Uh, this, uh, it was for the making of that run cycle I used for that This one The actual run cycle used a different song I was like, this one! I like this track! I'm gonna use it on that video. <laughs> so, I did. Orange! Can you guess what is the name of this very orange animu cat? That I created when I was 14 years old. <laughs> that was 17 years ago. <laughs> Orange. No. His name is Park. I never finished that webcomic, but Spark Spark is kinda like is one thing from that comic I still think about maybe sometimes. But that comic was like kinda it was terrible, like I really <laughs> it's suffered from a lot of issues that that came from, from me not being so experienced when writing stories and stuff. And... I kinda got stuck with it after a while and I was like... After almost three years years of working on that comic. And really like getting, getting really stuck with it and didn't know how to like properly progress the story. Even though I knew where I wanted to go with the story. I was like, this is enough, like, I cannot handle this, I need to work on something else. So I started my second web webcomic that is still online, actually. But my first webcomic was this Lulo Silly Silly comic about cats. It was basically just silver bank but with cats. If you want to have an idea what that comic was like. If you know what Silver Bang is. Silver Bang is the thing that inspired me to start making art. Do you think you would ever redraw any scenes from your first webcomic? No. Not really. Because that comic was like, it is very much a product of its time. And it's like, I've grown so fast of it. And it's like, I don't know. I was 14 years old when I started drawing that comic. So, 
the the beginning of that comic didn't even have backgrounds. Like the the characters were just standing in white void. Like it was bad. It's simply bad. It was not good comic. I I will tell you like. It it did have like after like the verb stem pages of so like start to have like some background elements but it started as with characters just standing in a white void and then there was what was this like random tree because it was more of the story purposes and it was like really bad void cat kinda yeah uh <coughs> <coughs> god coughing again but I started my first webcomic when I was 14, but before that, I did draw some comics for about a year on my own. So I had some experience with making comics by the time I started making my first webcomic, but my first webcomic was still pretty bad. Like, but you always start somewhere, like your first thing you do will suck. Like, it will suck. You will not, like, start so doing something and be like, I am absolutely perfect at this. I am the master of this thing. No. Your first thing will suck. And your second thing will also suck, but probably will suck slightly more because you have experienced the first thing and learned something from it. Like, it's a slow progress where you do things e enough many times that you eventually start suck less and eventually you suck so little that people are like oh wow you are so good at this thing and it's like no I actually suck at this thing I, I've been just doing this for so long that I suck so little that people can't tell and it's all out to suck yeah and that's what I'm talking about with your comic Morgan because your comic is like, it has such fantastic elements for someone's first comic project. I'm not gonna lie. But there are also some very glaring fluffs in it. But you have been also learning and improving so much in such a short period of time. It's very impressive. I will say this. And I be... No, 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 no. You be gone. You... Freaking no. No 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 Away you go. Jesus Christ. What is it with bots finding me today? I swear to god we listened to this track already today. No, no, we are This is a new track I added today on my playlist. This is called Cocktail Hour. With gay cocktail hour, <laughs> but I think it should be called cocktail hour without a gay. Because I think both spellings are correct. You can scream at me about this all you want, but I know I'm right. Yeah, Morgan, your comic has been improving a lot. There's, there are some flaws, there are some pretty bad, some bad flaws in it, but also it's like a weird mix of like you do some things really good, and then there's some things you do not do do not so good, and it's like this really weird balance of like really good things and then some really not so good things. But you've been like gaining more and more of the good things in the good things pile. <laughs> okay, technicalities, technicalities, whatever. But this is like your first big comic project. And I've been telling you that you have you are trying to swallow more than you can take with this comic. Because honestly, I've never taken such a large undertaking as you are taking with your comic. And for a beginning comic artist, that is like insane. Oh my god. 
I've never seen that MS Paint version. If you have any files of that, I would like to see that. <laughs> Please show me if you have those files around. Uh, but what we were doing? I have it all saved. Hell yeah! Please show those to me because I want to see them. I want to see them, Morgan. <laughs> show me of the stream or something. But, uh. But yeah, uh. What I was talking about. It was such a product of its time. And they kinda all, all are. Like, my Nastro comic, the Soul Silver Nastro comic, I did in early 2010s. It was. It very much is a product of its time. I went through the whole comic uh, earlier this year and it was so painful to go through. Because I've grown so much as a person since making that comic and... Yeah. 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 <laughs> Sorry Lugo, this is like art nerd in stream. I know you don't have much to say about it. <laughs> Oh no, Morgan! <laughs> like, it's it's a pretty bad thing when, when your originals are destroyed. I'm really lucky to, like, not have to have that to happen myself. Like, I've been, like, preserving my original arts well enough that they have survived until to this day. So, I still have, like, the originals of mo a lot of my old stuff from my beginning days still. Most of the stuff is still. It's okay, as I said, I like hearing people talk about their favorite things. Yeah, yeah, you told me this, but still... It must be boring if you can't contribute anything to the discussion. I'm just saying... <laughs> Little me got embarrassed by them and like three years later I was yelling like, WHY DID I DO THAT?! <sighs> Morgan, the things you've to told me about your little self are like, I'm looking at them and I'm like, what were you thinking, little Morgan? You were a person. You were definitely some kind of person. Okay, we have to relate so bad, like, okay. I guess we went into the comic talk. <laughs> oh, believe me, same. Okay. Good, good we, that we both agreed that little Morgan was terrible. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, this character, this is Spark, this is the main character from my first webcomic. He actually has scars and a cool necklace thingy, but I didn't bother to draw them because I actually don't remember, fully remember the placement of his scars. He had like one scar that goes over the eye and one on his back. Because... It was that kind of comic. It was kind of like Warriors, except I have never read Warriors, so I'm like applying the my things I was influenced by Silver Bang into cats. <laughs> That's how growing up works. Looking back at past like you, past you like, what were you doing, little me? Oh, that's me all the time. Not only growing up, but also improving your skills in general. Yeah, yeah. Like that, that is the one thing about when you become older and you practice things, you be become better. And I know there are like lots of young people are, that can be like highly skilled at something they do, but they also must have started doing that thing when they were very young. So it's not like as simple as. You might look at someone and be like, oh, oh, this person is so good at doing something they do. I will never be as good as them. When actuality, they, the road they have taken to get there is so long. And you have like, you, the road you have taken to get where you are is like much shorter in comparison. So it's not fair to compare yourself to someone who has done something much longer than you have. Am I making any sense here? I am just rambling, honestly. 
Ay, ay, ay. So, but about comics, like I started making comics uh, around late 2006, early 2007. And I was like 13 years old. And I've been doing comics most of my life at this point. They've been kind of become part of me. And in the last few years have been pretty hard for me working on comics. Like the end of last year was pretty difficult when I was wanting to start my next comic project. And then I got sick. And then there were like all the health complications that came from that. And I'm still having this goddamn cough left from that sickness from almost a year ago. <sighs> but still, but still. I've been just trying to get better, be get back to things and like, I've been working on a new comic this year, this summer. And I will show you guys a little bit about it at the end of the stream, but uh, not yet. Uh, same with artists comparing themselves to people who just happen to speed run the improvement process. I mean, yeah, sure. There are some people who like pick up things faster by some way, like, like they are able to like understand the, the secrets of something much faster than you do. Like my improvement process has been so slow because because I've been just kind of like hitting my head against wall for a long enough time trying to do three things on my own way. And it has been only like pretty recently that I've been like, okay, I need to like step back and think about, look at things properly and improve things, like consciously improve things, really consciously look at things and think how I could improve things and how I should improve things. <sighs> I've been coughing a lot lately, which might be because of air conditioning carpets. But man, yeah, recovering from the loss of my voice at the beginning of the year has been annoying. Oh yeah, I, I remember you talking about that, Morgan. You had that whole voice loss thing. I didn't know that you were still struggling with that. You never talk about it. So... But I've been like dealing with this constant cough ever since like last October. It's been almost a year now. <laughs> yeah, I always forget about it. I mean, I guess if you get used to it, you don't think about it so so much. So <clears throat> honestly, I need to drink water. <laughs> My voice is kind of dying. Not unmuting myself. Ah, that's much better. But... But yeah... Uh, uh, now my train of thought kinda stopped and now I'm kinda blanking on things. Uh, but yeah, talking a little bit about like... Where I started with comics. My first web comic was the comic about cats I only ever released in Finnish and I have the the files are lost to the eater like I have the original pages but at some point I went from handwriting the dialogue to di digitally I the dialogue and I don't remember anymore what the dialogue of those pages was so Restoring that comic is basically impossible at this point. That comic is basically lost to either. My second web comic is still online though. And I, uh, some years ago, I actually added an English translation to it. So it's readable if you want to go read it. I probably could try the main character from that comic. It was a short comic, it was like 70 pages long. And it was the worst watercolor comic I made. That's crappy, the old internet died in a way. Yeah, it was kind of my fault, like, not... Not like... Uh, having... What is the term again? No, I'm blanking on the term, like... Not having, like, uh... Copies of the pages. 
anywhere. Like I only preserved them on that page I published them on. Backups. Thank you, Lugo. Backups. But yeah. Uh, my second web comic was this little short comic. And I should uh, explain the story a little bit because back in 2007, there was like this little piece of story I had in mind about a dog who was traveling to an island for some whatever reason. And I never went with that story anywhere with that story, but that was 2007. And in 2010, after I decided to cancel my web web comic, I went back to that story idea with a new character design of this little dog who doesn't have a name in the comic. She is just uh, this little puppy. And she has, in the comic, she has like dreams about going to this island. And she's wondering about the meaning of those dreams. And it's a little bit like, for well, something I made when I was 16, 17 years old, I think the story holds up pretty well. <laughs> The art is awful because I was 16 slash 17 years old when I drew that comic. But that comic is still online. I have translated ever back um, ever since making it into English, so you can read it if you want. And it's only 70 pages, so it's not that big of an undertaking. The main character is this little yellow-orange doko. It's funny because the comic has overall three characters and two of them doesn't, don't have name, names. Like, only one character in the whole comic has a name. It's kind of funny. I don't like... I'm really bad at naming stuff, honestly. Naming characters is like one of my biggest weaknesses. But this was my second webcomic, and it was my first comic that was fully done in watercolor. Because I started doing it in summer 2010. And... I started using watercolors as my main art medium, like a few months earlier, so... Little yellow dog. Who doesn't have a name. She's a cute puppy though. She's a cute puppo. Very fond of this character still. Uh, my se third web comic. <laughs> Some of you might be familiar with it. I worked on that comic for over two and a half, like two and a half years. After I finished this comic, my second web comic, I moved on to make something else. And I'm just gonna draw one thing and everyone will probably know what I'm talking about. <sighs> I really did not want to draw Pokemon on the stream, but here we are again. It's the boy! It's the yaw boy! It's Bazooka! <laughs> yeah, my third webcomic was this. I had been making webcomics for about four years when I started doing this one. My Soul Silver Nutslog, which most of you probably know me for. But yeah. But enough of that, uh, I did some other short projects in the while I drew a comic about where a man and bear had a fight. Nice classics, thanks! The Kamina classes are very iconic. Like everyone just loved this character design because it's so stupid. 
Oh, the glare is so bad. The glare is so bad. Can you see anything? Moving a little bit this way. But here is the boy. Bazooka. As a Cinta Quill. Uh, I did some other little comics. I did... Uh, I did... Uh, one of my stupidest... Stupidest comic projects is the... Thing where a man and a bird had a fight. And then there was... I was trying to do another comic about cats. But that got cancelled. Cancelled. Um, then... Moving forward to 2015, I started the sequel to my Soul Silver Nuts look, and I also Can you guess who this is? <laughs> I read and I missed the bazooka. <laughs> Yeah, I started talking about my my web comics in order, and I mentioned the the comic I made made after my first web comic and my third web comic that was the Saucy Venus Lock. And the next big project after that, Stripey Dog. Yeah, Morgan, did you ever read that one? Like I translated that in English, and it's only like seventy pages. But did you ever read Half a Wolf? Like, that one is like, for well, something I did when I was 16 slash 70 years old, it was like, it's still okay. Probably not. Okay, I'm fine enough. But that is still online. Like, I have that on Comic Fear even nowadays. So, it's still there. You can read it anytime you want. But this was the next big thing I had after those... And this was like a big monumental thing for me. I really haven't talked about it so far, but the Robin Humans was in my early years of being an artist, like it was something very difficult for me, the Robin Humans. Like I spent my worst years as an artist just drawing animals. So I kind of like negle neglected that part of being an artist. Oh no! Oh no! I'm sorry to hear that, Morgan. Hope she didn't burn herself too bad. Luckily, she's not blistering much. How did she burn herself even? Like, sunburn or what? Uh, but yeah, uh, so in my early years of being an artist, I did not draw humans that much. It was only uh, only in my Soul Silver Nuts look where I started drawing humans, human characters. And it was in 2015 when I started drawing my big passion project, Storm Rider, where I, where I really started drawing humans on my own. <laughs> And that kind of drawing humans in Stormwider kind of got me finally over my fear of drawing humans. Because in my early years of being an artist, I kind of had this fear of drawing humans because humans are so difficult to draw if you only have the knowledge of being an animal artist. Uh, she was mixing floor with stew brood uh, to make her the stew, stew sticker and the heat preservers or the thing she was using. Uh, and it blew, blew up on her, in her face. Oh my god! Oh my god! 
hopefully, hopefully she's not too bird from that because that sounds awful. I hold Stormwinder so close to my heart. Thank you, thank you. That's that means a lot to me. But yeah, Stormfire was such a big passion project for me, like... And I intend to go back to that universe at some point. Very much so. I am going to go back to that universe at some point. Yeah, luckily there, there's only a few perms that are blistering their resumes to keep cool. Pretty quick, so they're healing already. Good, good to hear. Okay, because I burnt myself a few times and uh, those are not, those are not fun. Uh, having any, having any kind of burns they are like, suck. But yeah, Storm Rider was really big project for me. That finally kind of got me over my fear of driving humans. Hey. <sighs> I'm a fucking accident waiting to happen. I'm I remember I, I'm aware Morgan, you kinda are. I'm being honest. You kinda are. <laughs> <coughs> but Storm Rider I ended in 2019. And after that it's been kinda like trying to finish the sequel to my Soul Silver Nuzlocke and doing some other short comic project on the site. What new surprise, Bruce? What are you talking, Morgan? No, no. Why are you like this? Oh my God. Why are my rants like this? Why are you like this, Morgan? I'm trying to. I am trying to like naturally take this thing into something here. Please let me do things. Without constantly going, oh my god, are you okay? Why are you like this? <sighs> but anyway... Started with the cat comic. Did the co dog comic. Did the Pokemon comic. Did my big own project. That took me like four and a half years. <laughs> Continue with your comic talk. I am. I'm ignoring you. I'm ignoring, ignoring you all. Everyone has their special talents. I don't think that can be called a special talent, honestly, Luko. If you call that a special talent, I, I have some concepts. Um, but... Cat comic, dog comic, uh, Pokemon comic, my own big comic, and... Then some little project there and there. And finishing the... Sequel to the Soul Silver Nuts vlog that I started in 2015 that took me eight and a half years to finish. <sighs> like I am so glad I finished that the Pokemon Black comic I was working on, on because that was so painful to finish. But, 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 but. <sighs> Do you guys still want to go keep going? Or should we end here? I, I still have some space on this paper. We could talk about, about more things. I'm, I could do the more things here. Or... Like, I, I think I have some energy left in me, so I could keep going. But uh, this has kind of led up to the thing I want to talk at the end of the stream. I, I guess I could make you guys wait a little bit longer. <laughs> I am also forgetting all the little comic projects I did in between. Like, I completely forgot. Oh my god, I did the Exceptional Bond, I did the Brave and Valiant, I did Lowy, I did so many things. There's always a Baker to draw. What does that mean? Would you like to see me drop Eiko? I mean, I drew Sari here, so I guess I could 
fill the rest of this paper with bacon. The suspension! Alright. But fine. Let's try the boy. So spill the rest of can you guys even see what I'm doing? Let's fill the rest of the paper with Beiko, the second main character of Storm Rider, which was like my Magnus Opus, kinda. And again, I would like to come back to that world, that universe at some point. And I have a story fully written about that. And I've been wanting to get into that, but there's been just things getting on my way because being an adult is one. Oi, oi, oi. But Storm Rider is the story about the friendship between Sari here and Peiko, which is I'm currently drawing. And Peiko is the Finnish World War troll, the fairy tale creature. And Peiko is not a dragon, even though many people mistake him for a war dragon often. He's just this big mammal that kinda looks like a bat. But it's not a bat, actually. Is this one of the new drags I added today? No. Bummer. Uh, I guess the rain rate of the stream has been also good to, so far. There have not been any rain drops, I hope. And if there are, I would hope that you guys tell me about those. Because I am just one person and I cannot like constantly look at the stream stream feed to see if there's like any issues. Like I always have to help. Peiko is like um, one of my comfort characters honestly. So far it sounds and looks good. Yeah, yeah, I, I I, was able to read that even though you had a typo there, don't worry, Lugo. I'm used to your typos at this point. <sighs> you and your big yaoi hands. Um... Uh. Speaking of the stream, what device do you use to record what you're driving? I'm using a webcam. This is a... I don't even remember what brand webcam this is. I got this webcam for vid video calls when... During the pandemic. It was like a very cheap webcam because I didn't want to invest much. And then was like... I could use this for like record painting stuff. And then I started using it also to record streams. Not the stream, Yama! I'm sorry! <laughs> I'm sorry! <laughs> I told everyone about your big hands. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh. It's fine, we are not judging. We are... I'm not judging here. No one is going to judge here. So you're fine. You're fine, dude. <clears throat> but anyway. <coughs> Storm Rider was a very big project for me. I started the original idea of the comic started in 2008. And I spent like seven years working on it until I started the actual comic. And fun fact, even though Peiko is the secondary main character in the story, he was not part of the story at the beginning. Because Sari, the first person of Sari, was created in 2008, but Peiko was created a year later. So the story was originally going to be very different from what it ended up being. Like, it was, it went through many phases. And at some point, Peiko was also going to be this, like, sentient creature that was able to talk. Like, it was going to, it was very different. What it ended up being. Uh... 
But yeah, I have a long history with comics, as you can see. I've been doing comics for 17 years. <sighs> and I wanna keep making comics. Like, making comics makes me happy. It's kinda like my way to express myself. Share my stories with the world. With you guys. And kinda maybe connect with people. In a way, too. Not the way. And I'm I'm going to tell you guys I have two big comic projects in in the works in the planning stage at least like I have both stories completed but I am not ready to yet start drawing them but in the meanwhile my next comic project which is a much shorter one I've been working on this summer and I think I will be ready to tell you guys about what is it what is it about. So, would you be ready to hear about it? Would you like to hear what is my next undertaking in the world of comics? Are you ready? Because I don't... Yes, please. Okay, since you asked so nicely, absolutely. Okay, so I'm going to... Again, I told this at the beginning of the stream, and I'm going to say it again here. I'm not going to show anything from the comic itself. So, I'm not going to give you any release date, because I am not ready for that yet. But I am going to give you the name of the comic, the main characters of the comic, and... And uh, explain a little bit what the comic is about. So, let's put this away. Are you guys ready to hear about something? So, I didn't mention this when I was going through my comics just now, but three years ago, three years ago, I drew a short comic project. In 2021, I did a short comic project called The Finder. The Finder is about these three characters, the Seer, the Seeker, and the Scouter. That was The Finder. The Finder was supposed to be a one-shot comic. It was short, it was like 21 pages. I wrote it originally as a one shot thing. But while, me while I was working on the Finder, I came up with a continuation to the story. And it's been like... In my head for a while. And I am... Today... Happy to tell you guys... That the Finder... Is going to have... More story. It will continue. And the new, the new part of this continuation will be called The Awakener. And that's all I can tell you guys at this point. My next comic is The Awakener. It will... Okay, few things. It will continue the story from the Finder, so it will be directly con connected to the Finder. So, in order to understand this comic, you need to read the Finder first, which is like 21 pages, it's not long. And it only introduces the main characters that you see here. This trio. This is, by the way, new key art I drew. Do you like it? <laughs> um, and, um... Uh, And uh, uh, what I was saying, key art reveal, hell yeah! I'm going to post this key art after the stream probably, so don't worry, you will see this in high definition. Uh, like the Finder was a short comic that only like briefly introduced these characters, but I had more in my mind with these characters and the Awakener. The new part of the story will 
go a little bit more in detail who these characters are and why are they like what they are. And also I swear to god we haven't had this song go away. That always comes up. <sighs> the finder and they make an will be directly connected. So if you want to have full experience, please read both. The Awakener will be longer than the Finder. I will say already this. And I cannot unfortunately give you the release date for this comic yet. And the reason for that is a little bit technical. Because I, I'm at the point currently where I have enough like comic pages to almost start releasing the comic on weekly basis but and here's a big part I haven't started editing the comic yet at all I have like so many comic pages done but I haven't started editing the comic yet because I haven't scanned the comic yet and the reason for that is because my scanner has been dying it's been dying last few months slowly but surely it's been getting worse. It's been adding terrible stripes on every scan I do, and editing those out is such a pain in the ass. So, what I need to do first is that, is that I need to invest on a new scanner first. And get like the settings on that scanner figured out and all that stuff before I can fully start working on editing this comic and releasing this comic. And I really cannot give you guys any like time frame when that will be done. But I just wanted to get it out now that this is what is next to come. And since you guys have been behaving well enough, I think I can show you a little bit more. Would you guys like to see one page from the Awakener? Have you behaved well enough to deserve to see a one page? Of the beginner. I've been good. Sure, whatever, Morgan. You didn't even show you me those drawings. Those old drawings. If you show me those drawings after the stream, maybe. Maybe. Maybe you've been good enough. <laughs> What's on my best behavior? Not, all, not last night, mister. You were not on your best behavior last night. <laughs> Maybe on this stream, but not last night, sir. <laughs> but fine, fine. You provocated it. Bullshit, dude. Bullshit. <laughs> you were the one who pushed it. You were the one who wanted to like see it all through. Arctic Night Moon, you were on your best behavior. You were, you were the only one you actually behaved. Like, everyone else here was like, no, you are bad. <laughs> but fine. <laughs> fine. I will show you the first page from the Awakener. Is that cool with you? Okay, hold on. Hold a sec. Okay, I'm back. It, it was a little bit difficult to find the page, but I found it. And I'm looking at it. Is there any music on? Oh, the music track is done. Okay. It took a little bit of find, finding the page because it was in a while with the other pages. Because I, I'm putting the, I have put them on for 
press surprising them between some books to straighten them up because what a color paper kind of this track is making me irrational angry. No. We're putting Lost Piles on. Screw in the noise. Lost Piles we go. Okay. Um, I'm looking at this verse page and I'm like, oh my god. This is so bad. Like, the, I'm I'm going to tell you guys, the comic gets much better as it goes on. Like, this verse page is very rough. But... <laughs> Here it is. Here it is. No dialogue, but here is the verse page from the Awakener. Do you enjoy it? Good. And it's gone. <laughs> As with all pilots, I guess, I guess. And that's it. What do you guys think? Looks very neat, thanks. It gets better though, the art gets much better. That work verse I'm looking at that work page for the first time in like two months and I'm like, oh my god, this looks so bad. Like the later pages look so much better, I swear. It's just been so long since I've since I've been making comics regularly that it like took me a little bit get back to the groove of it. So you're too hard on your art. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> Why are you guys so nice to me? I don't like it when you guys are so nice to me. Let me hate my own art, please. <laughs> but yeah, the Awakener is the next thing that is happening, so... Luko, shut the hell up. I have a choice of words for you after the stream. I'm going to scream at you after the stream, so be ready for that. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi, hi. But, but yeah. The Awakener is the next thing. What do you guys think? Is this like the word for hype? Or is this like, I did I overhype this thing more? What? Like, this is something I've been wanting to do for a while. And I'm glad I finally got around working on it. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah. I guess we can end the stream here because I said that at, I was going to show that at the end of the stream. And I did, and I honestly have nothing else to do, so. And I feel like I'm going to crash up to the stream. I don't want to go too late, so. Yeesh. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for the stream. <laughs> it was worth the hype, AMO. Gives a good glimpse of what was to come. Thanks. Okay, thanks. Yeah, sure. Was a fun stream. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for <laughs> thanks for joining me. I guess I'll see you at some point again. I don't know when I will stream again. My schedule is so full with things. It's a miracle. It's a small miracle that I was able to stream today. With everything else that's been going on. But I did. And I'm glad you guys joined me. So see you some other time. when I Whenever I stream. Maybe in the future. Yama out. Man, this music track is so good. I just wanna he stay here and chat about this. Uh, I love Hiroki Kikuta's work. <laughs>